Hi, in this video, we will see socket programming in Java. So, uh, every networking application actually has two parts one is known as server, and another is known as client. So, server program actually receive request from client, serve them. So, here what we are going to do, we will write two programs one we will write as server, and another we will make as client. And what we are trying to do is that how to establish a connection between them. So for socket programming, we need to import java.net.start package. And we will create a class. Let's say class server. And we need to define a public static void main method. Okay. So in order to create a server, the first step is that create object of server socket class. So we need to create this server socket class object and in the constructor we need to pass a port number. So when the server will run at that time this port number will be assigned to this server. So that if a data packet coming from internet so that data packet actually having IP address of the system and the port number. So this port number is actually used to resolve the conflict among process. When a packet received at a computer, it might be possible that there are a number of applications running on that system. So how those applications which going to find out for which application a coming packet is for. So this port number is actually provide that identification. So we are using here let's say 3000. And the next thing is that we have to start the server. So how to start it? We need to call accept method of server socket class. So at this line, when this line will be executed, our server start waiting for a client request. So if there is no request in that case, it will keep on waiting. And let's say at the end we will print connected. So if there is no client request at that in that situation our program actually will stuck in this accept method because this accept method will not return until uh, there is a client request. So this is our server program. Let's say we will save it on desktop with with name server.java. And uh, here there is a problem that it might be possible that uh, a application already running with this port number in that case there will be a runtime error or exception so what we have to do we have to close this code in try catch block okay so we have created we are done with server now we are going to write client So same we need to import java.net.star package. We will create a class client and we will define public static void name. So in case of client, client has to send a connection request to the server. So in that case client need to know two information. What is the IP address of the system on which server program is running? And what is the port number of that server program? So for demonstration purpose, we are going to run these both program on the same machine. So in that case, IP will be localhost IP and that is 127.0.0.1 and port number, whatever port number we have assigned to our server. So in client program, we need to create a object of socket class and in constructor we need to pass two argument first one is IP address second one is port number so when this instruction is executed it will send a connection request to this machine on port number 3000 so same situation also occurs here if there is no server running on this IP with this port number so we need to enclose this one in try catch block
and here in case of successful connection we will print connected we will save this file okay so now how to run this program we need to open two command prompt So in one command prompt we are going to run server program, in another we will run client. So first we need to move to the desktop directory and we will compile our server program. Ok our program is compiled, here we will go desktop, we will compile our client program. Ok, so here first we need to run server. So now our server program is started and this server program will keep on running if uh, until there is a client request. So whenever a client will send a request, server will complete execution of this line and it will go to the next line and it will print connected. So this server is running and we will try to run our client program now. So we will write Java client. So as soon as this client program is executed, it will send a connection request to server, server will receive a request and server complete its execution. So if you can see, both program actually printed this message. So in the next tutorial, we uh, will see how to exchange message between client and server program. Thank you very much for watching.